the pre-parade serenade was provided by Marine Band San Diego, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego, California. The Marine Corps has played an active role in San Diego history ever since Marines from the Super War Cyan seized Old Town during the Mexican-American War in 1846. Marines have been stationed at the Recruit Depot since 1921, when most of the buildings to your front were constructed. These buildings, known as the Arcade, were designed by world-famous architect Bertram Goodhue. The Arcade is among 25 buildings that have qualified for inclusion on the National Register of Historic Places and are outstanding examples of Spanish colonial revival architecture. Since 1923, more than a million Marines have completed their recruit training here at the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, and since 1915 at the Marine Corps East Coast Recruit Training Depot at Harris Island, South Carolina. Regardless of where a Marine attended boot camp, you can rest assured that they received the toughest and most physically and mentally demanding recruit training offered anywhere in the world. Some individual techniques and methods may have evolved over the years, but the focus and adherence to our core values of honor, courage, and commitment are as strong today as any time in our history. Today, the Marines of Company G accept the responsibilities to safeguard this proud tradition as they step forward to join this rich heritage. Ahead of them lie bright futures that will no doubt add to the proud Marine legacy that they now rightfully claim as their own. Corporal Manny is a four-year-old full-blooded English Bulldog born in Fallbrook, California on July 9, 2018. He is named in honor of Sergeant Johnny R. Mamolito Sr one of the original 29 Navajo co-talkers who trained in the first All-Navajo platoon here aboard the depot in 1942. Sergeant Mamolito helped create the code that the Navajos developed at Camp Elliott, now Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. He became an instructor, teaching other Navajo Marines the Navajo code. Later, Sergeant Mamolito participated in the Battle of Iwo Jima, where a Marine signals officer stated, had it not been for the co-talkers, we would have never taken Iwo Jima. Corporal Manny continues the tradition of a long line of Marine Corps Bulldog mascots, dating back to 1921, when Brigadier General Smedley Butler appointed Sergeant Major Jiggs as the first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks Quantico. He's being escorted by the Office of Communications Strategy and Operations, Corporal Max J. Noel. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Heath Taylor, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Lord, may everything we do begin with your inspiration and continue with your help so that all our prayers and works may begin in you and by you happily ended. Today is a special day in the life of these New Year's Marines. As they embark on the next chapter in their lives, we pray that the same hand that has kept them thus far will continue to be in their lives. May God's hand of protection be upon them, and may God's word continue to be a light unto their path. Help them to make wise decisions and to always keep you first in everything they do. Father, we humbly pray to guide and guard our New Year's Marines who will serve our country. Help and strengthen them in the right to struggle for the preservation of liberty and justice for all. Make all ever mindful of their duty to our country and fill them with courage and loyalty. Lord, we are grateful for all the officers and drill instructors who trained our new Marines. We pray to protect 
guide and watch them and their families. Fill them with hope, faith, and love. We ask this in your holy name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Crew Depot San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historic event in the life of a Marine, their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to Recruiter School and Drill Instructor School. All our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marines. This morning, Company G, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is Captain Charles W. Sprott, Company Commander, Company G, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion. The Parade Adjutant is Captain Marlon C. Webster, Executive Officer, Company G, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. The marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. Marching in today's parade are 503 of the graduating Marines from Company G. Among the 503 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private First Class Matthew D. Glidden from Platoon 2146 is the company high shooter, scoring a 347 out of 350. Private First Class Jordan Ismail from Platoon 2143 is the most physically fit Marine scoring a 300 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the Company Honor Graduates Recruiter, Staff Sergeant Francis C. Nolan. Also present today is the Primary Marksmanship Instructor with a platoon high shooting average of 217 for platoon 2146, Sergeant William R. Comerauer. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison, are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills, and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguish them as Marines. Examples of these traits are discipline, the achievement of a state of discipline which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing, consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others toward excellence in common goals. For 246 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls, in the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Though battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with steel resolve.
the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, Semper Fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat, four deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be most ready when the nation is least ready, to defend freedom anytime and anywhere, to stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters, to pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy, and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company G, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton and on this parade deck, and have been trained, as are all Marines, as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the Recruit Depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hand over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors.
Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Following the command, Parade Rest, the Parade Adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band a parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
The parade adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops. the command, officer center march. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point the commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, and distinguished guests. On behalf of Brigadier General Jason L. Morris, the Commanding General of the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region, as well as on behalf of Colonel Joseph W. Jones, the commanding officer of the Recruit Training Regiment. Welcome to the graduation of Company G. I'd like to begin today by recognizing a few groups vital to our mission accomplishment. First and foremost, to the friends and families of these new Marines, thank you for your love and support on their journey to this momentous day. You laid the foundation which allowed them to take the initial steps towards becoming a Marine. Your love sustained them during this training and will continue to be a source of strength in their future vocation. Welcome to the Marine Corps family. <laughs> to the families of the Company G staff seated to the right of the reviewing stand, no one knows more than you the time and dedication it takes to transform a civilian into a Marine. Sergeant Major and I are deeply grateful for your sacrifice and support which enables these drill instructors and officers to perform this critical task. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the families of Company G. I'd also like to recognize our parade reviewing official, Rear Admiral Nowakowski, whose impressive bio you will hear shortly, and who currently serves as the Vice Commander of the Navy's Fifth Fleet in Bahrain. Sir, it's an honor to have you here today. Thank you for joining us. You know, making Marines is truly a team effort, and at the forefront of that effort are Marine recruiters stationed across this great country. These men and women work tirelessly to identify, educate, and inspire the next generation of Marines to join our Corps. This legion of recruiters are represented today by Staff Sergeant Almanza from recruiting substation Pomona, California, who's responsible for guiding our company honor graduate, Lance Corporal Hernandez Meza, into the Corps. Our other partner in this endeavor are the instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion, who are responsible to teach the combat skills necessary to fight and win in any climb and place. They're represented today by Sergeant Colmerauer, the primary marksmanship instructor for the company's high shooter, Private First Class Glidden. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our recruiters and our combat instructors. Gentlemen, well done. The last group I'd like to recognize certainly need no introduction, for everyone knows the distinct campaign cover of a legendary Marine Corps drill instructor. And from the moment your Marine arrived here, there's been a drill instructor with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, tirelessly instilling the qualities and esprit de corps of a United States Marine and leaving an indelible mark on those they lead. Trust me, your Marine will never forget the name, the face, or the gentle, loving voice of their drill instructors. Now, these Marines behind me are on average 18-year-old high school graduates and two have college degrees. They come to us from every state and territory in the Western Recruiting Region and 12 countries around the world, including Ukraine, Thailand, and the Republic of Congo. And when they raised their right hand and swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, they differentiated themselves from 99% of their peers. Upon arrival here, these drill instructors forged them in the fires of martial discipline, instilling in them the qualities of a United States Marine and leaving an indelible mark. They proved themselves capable of carrying heavy loads long distances over mountainous terrain with limited sleep and food to be where they're needed, when they're needed, to accomplish any mission. Now, you may have noticed a change in your new Marine. They may stand a little taller, look a little leaner, and sport an outstanding Marine Corps hairstyle. And moms and dads, I promise, they know how to make their beds. But the truly important change has taken place within, for they have been immersed in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. 
And by virtue of standing here today, they have embraced those as their own. And it is because of this, because of the journey they have undergone, because of the moral, mental, and physical development they have displayed, that I am pleased to present 503 young men and women who can forever proudly claim the title United States Marine. And if you'd excuse me, I'd like to address the nation's newest Marines. Good morning, Marines. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly proud of you. We've watched you learn, strive, and grow these past months, and we're pleased to welcome you to our ranks. When you stepped on those yellow footprints, you affirmed a commitment of selfless service to our Corps. These drill instructors fanned a flame inside of you, and now we trust you will keep it burning bright. You can be justifiably proud of what you've accomplished here. You earned your tan belt in our martial arts programs. Some of you learned to swim for the first time in our water survival training, and many of you overcame a fear of heights on our confidence and obstacle courses. You learned weapons employment to deliver precision fire on targets of a staggering distance of 500 yards. And in a final test, you completed the grueling three-day crucible, which required you to demonstrate exemplary character, physical and mental toughness, the ability to decide, act, and communicate, leadership, and a warfighter spirit. And every Marine, past and present, expects you to display those attributes in your future trials. And so, having completed the longest and most grueling recruit training on this globe, you're ready to carry on our Marine Corps tradition as America's Naval Expeditionary Force in readiness. As you go forward, I implore you to be safe, be smart, and make good decisions. Remember, that Eagle Globe and Anchor pressed into the palm of your hand atop the Reaper represents 246 years of Marines who've come before you. You must always be worthy of that legacy and protect what you have earned. And so on behalf of the Marines, sailors, and civilians aboard Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, let me offer you a traditional parting of fair winds and following seas. Congratulations, Semper Fidelis. Welcome to the Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Rear Admiral Robert C. Nowakowski, Reserve Vice Commander, Naval Forces, 5th Fleet. He is accompanied by Brigadier General Jason L. Morris, Commanding General for Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for honors to the Reserve Vice Commander, Naval Forces, 5th Fleet. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Rear Admiral Robert C. Nowakowski, Reserve Vice Commander, 5th Fleet and U.S. Naval Forces, U.S. Central Command. Rear Admiral Nowakowski is a native of Chicago, Illinois. He graduated from Northwestern University in 1992, and in 2000, he began his affiliation with the Navy Reserve. Rear Admiral Nowakowski has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands who include Training Officer at 3rd Fleet, Naval Cooperation and Protection Shipping. Operations Officer at Military Sea Lift Command, Central Command Headquarters. Reserve Chief of Staff at Naval Service Force Command. Deputy Commander at Navy Region Southwest, Reserve Component Command. Deputy Director at Littoral Combat Ship, Surface Reserve Force Enterprise. Deputy Commander at Force Development, Naval Education and Training Command. Deputy Commander at Navy Recruiting Command. And Commander at Global Mind Warfare Center. Rear Admiral Nowakowski currently serves as the Reserve Vice Commander, 5th Fleet, and U.S. Naval Forces, U.S. Central Command. His personal awards include the Legion of Merit with four gold stars in lieu of fifth award, the Defense Meritorious Service Medal, the Meritorious Service Medal with one gold star in lieu of second award, 
the Navy Commendation Medal with six gold stars in lieu of seventh award, the Navy Achievement Medal with two gold stars in lieu of third award, the Navy Battle Efficiency E with one gold star in lieu of second award, the Military Outstanding Volunteer Service Medal with three gold stars in lieu of fourth award, and various service, expeditionary, unit, and campaign awards. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rear Admiral Robert C. Nowakowski. More than a million Marines have been trained here in the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusan, Inchon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Way City, Lebanon, Granada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marja, Sangyang, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, Captain Charles W. Sprott, Company Commander and the Regimental Staff. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Marine Band San Diego, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego, California. Series 2141, Series Commander, First Lieutenant Stephanie L. Spangler. <laughs> Platoon 2141, Senior Drill Instructor, Gunnery Sergeant Danielle A. Brinkman.
2,142, Senior Drill Instructor, Gunnery Sergeant, Ebony N. Thomas. Honor Platoon 2143, Senior Drone Instructor, Staff Sergeant Javier E. Espinoza. The Regimental Color Guard is led by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor, Sergeant DeMarcus Hill. Series 2145, Series Commander, Captain Spencer G. Tom. At Platoon 2145, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Ricardo I. Perez Mitchell. Platoon 2146, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Joshua W. Howes. Platoon 2147, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant James Fenimore. Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marine's Hymn. The Marine's Hymn has a history dating back to 1859. It is a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed at all Marines present and who have served honorably. And ladies and gentlemen, you are all encouraged to join. Sing the words to the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs, Anchors Away, followed by the Marine's Hymn. Will the guests please rise?
uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline, the heart and soul of every Marine, have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in recruits through their observance and relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill up ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company G prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp today, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Charles W. Sprott. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Francisco Reyes. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company G. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring, the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps.
The Guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors. Honor graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Smith, and the battalion sergeant major, Sergeant Major Valdez. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. The honor graduate for Platoon 2141 is Private First Class Hiroko El Kamioka from Honolulu, Hawaii. The honor graduate for Platoon 2142 and the series honor graduate is Private First Class Julia L. Figgins from Roseville, California. The honor graduate for Platoon 2143 is Private First Class Brian A. Baker from Reno, Nevada. The honor graduate for Platoon 2145 is Private First Class Damon D. Marley from Kansas City, Missouri. The honor graduate for Platoon 2146 is Private First Class Brian Yu from Houston, Texas. And the honor graduate for Platoon 2147 and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Michael A. Hernandez Mesa from Pomona, California. Lance Corporal Hernandez Mesa is also the recipient of the Chessy Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company G.
The company first, Sergeant, will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.